What's going on YouTube, GeoSnoid here. So Android applications running on iPhone. This person over here made a tutorial on how to install APK files, which are Android applications on your iOS iPhone. It says get Android apps on iOS. And yeah, the video has over 160,000 views and it was published last year. So apparently they managed to actually get real Android applications running on the iPhone. Let's see exactly how they did it and let's try to follow their tutorial over here and get into the midst of it. But first of all, let's explain a little bit why that would be possible. Can you really run Android applications on an iPhone? Well, it turns out that you can. The Android project is actually open source and Android is based on Linux. And since this project is completely open source, it means that any developer can take the Android source code and adapt it and create drivers for iOS devices. And this has actually happened before with Project Sandcastle. It was released back in 2019 and it's real Android on the iPhone. This one is completely legitimate. I have installed it before and it does allow you to run real Android applications on your iPhone. And before this, they did actually manage to achieve this over more than a decade ago with the very first iPhones, I think, when they managed to run the Android at that time, which I think was Android 2 or something like that. And the project is still available today. There are still download links available. It supports only a few devices, sure, but apparently they managed to get some stuff working for even newer models. And there are some things that still need to be addressed, like the GPU and cellular audio and whatever, but the devices do boot. And and once they boot, you can install applications. Another way in which I think this could be done is through UTM, which is a virtual machine for iOS. And yeah, as you can see over here, they did manage to actually run Windows XP on an iPhone. Yes, you can do that. And you can tilt the screen and it will be full screen. So this is another way in which you can do it. You can virtualize Linux in here. You can virtualize Android, Windows, and so on. So this is another way to possibly get Android on the device. So what method did they use? Because it appears that they have neither of them used over here. It says APK installer for iOS, and they just seem to have some applications and whatever. So is this legitimate? Well, going through the video over here, they tell you that they have to configure a couple of settings first. First, for example, you have to turn on background application refresh, and then they tell you to change a couple more things over here, like set Wi-Fi and mobile data over there. And they tell you that you should turn off low power mode over here. So those would point out to the fact that they use some sort of virtualization in order to do it, because virtualization would use a lot of memory and a lot of CPU. So low power mode would not be compatible with that. It would make things way too slow. So you wouldn't be wrong to think that they are using some sort of virtualization. However, what they actually do in here is is something much more nefarious. They go to Rocket Mods over here. And once they tell you to go here to Rocket Mods, they tell you that you have to search for an application called IAPK over here, as you can see, which presumably allows you to install Android applications directly on iOS. And then they show you that it installs and they tell you that you have to follow all the instructions and it downloads itself, starts injection of whatever. And then once it reaches about 99% or 100%, they show it installed over here. Well, in reality, you're going to get something like this. This is a scam as old as time, I'm afraid. And these are ads. Once you click on them, they make a lot of money. You might sign up for some subscription that you don't want, that costs you money, and it may actually bill you on your mobile carrier, but you're not going to get Android apps on your device. Let me tell you why. This is a complete scam. Now, surprisingly, if you look in the comments of this video, every single comment in here is a positive one, saying that it works, that this is an informative video, and that they never thought they could run Android apps on iOS, but they did. All of these comments are fake. This method will never work and that's because it's a complete scam and unfortunately when you search whether you can install apk files or android apps on ios this is the very first video that pops up yes a legitimate scam Now let me tell you how you can really run Android applications on iOS, either through the Project Sandcastle, which remains a real and valid way to get Android on your iPhone. And this one works. This one actually installs real Android on the device. They went ahead and actually built iPhone drivers for Android for various components of the iPhone. So that's how they did it. This one works with the Checkmate exploit, which also powers the Checkrain jailbreak and Bellrain jailbreak. And as such, it only supports the iPhone 7, 7 Plus and iPod Touch seven generation at the moment. If you don't have one of these devices, you're out of luck. But if you do have one of these devices laying around, 
then you can actually install real legitimate Android and of course run apps. With a catch, the GPU driver has never been finished, which means it will probably not run any games. But applications, normal applications like social media and stuff, those would work fine. Now the other method that you can do is UTM, as I mentioned. You can run this in UTM, it's called Android x86, and this one would essentially allow you to run it inside UTM with no problem. It's Android, but in x86 format that you can actually go ahead and run in a virtual machine and as you can see it supports actual Android stuff so you would be able to get proper Android in UTM as well and even applications however that runs inside an emulator not as a native iOS application what they show here in this video is impossible you will never be able to just open an application like that one over there which is an iOS application and then somehow magically make an Android application to work directly from iOS you would either need some sort of virtual machine that runs the entire Android operating system, or you would need something like Project Suncastle, which actually installs Android alongside with iOS, like a dual boot if you want. So these are your two options, but this option over here is a complete hoax. And it's sad to see that the first result when you search for this kind of question on YouTube is a literal scam. And yeah, it appears that the scam is doing very well because they scammed a lot of people, over 160,000 of them with what appears to be a malware, adware, whatever. So yes, these are your only two options for Android apps on iOS, either Project Sandcastle or a virtual machine with Android x86 project over here. That's your lot. And while this one would work on newer devices as well, since it runs inside a virtual machine, Project Sandcastle has its very big list of limitations. So don't expect to run any of these two methods and maybe play Android games that are very complicated. Both of these projects are more for show and tell, like, oh, hey, I can run actual Android on iOS. And this one is more running than this one, which is more like emulating, but both of them do work. However, if you see stuff like this, where you install an application and it magically allows you to install Android applications as if the iPhone is not a completely separate platform, then it's very likely a hoax. So I'm sad that a lot of people are getting scammed with this, but sadly, that's the way it is. So yes, you're going to find a link in the description down below for both UTM, the Android x86 project, and also Project Sandcastle. And if you want me, I can make a tutorial on how to install Project Sandcastle on iOS. And that way, if you get an iPhone, 7, 7 Plus, or the iPod Touch 7 generation, you will be able to actually get Android on your actual device. Anyway, this video is brought to you by 8K Sec. If you want to learn iOS security and you want to learn how to build such tools like UTM and Project Sandcastle and so on, go ahead and find out their offensive iOS internals course over here. If you ever wanted to become an iOS security researcher, this is a very good place to start. They go in depth into the kernel, into the iOS firmware, into ARM assembly, they go into debugging tools and reverse engineering and stuff like that. So everything you need to know in order to become a jailbreak developer or a tweak developer and even an iOS security researcher, definitely check it out below. Thank you for watching. I'm GS Now. Peace out.